Hey friends, welcome back to A's Learning Journey. In this video, I'm going to play with foot covers. Okay, let's start. Here, I have three glasses of water and three foot colorings. Tell me what will happen when I add a drop of foot color in the glass. My hypothesis is it will spread evenly and quickly. What's your hypothesis? Be louder. I can't hear you. Okay, now let's add the foot color. Look, it's very tremendous. But the color particles are taking too long. Let me talk to them. Hey, color particles, why are you taking too long? You're making my hypothesis go wrong. Hmm. Okay. I talked to the color particles. And they said that it takes a while to spread. Because when they spread, they bump and bounce into each other. Eventually, they'll spread out evenly. This process of spreading is called diffusion. Hmm, I think we're giving the particles too much time. Let's see how they turned out. Whoa, look, they spread out so nicely. It's so mesmerizing. As we know, the spreading process is called diffusion. Let's see what is diffusion. In simple terms, diffusion is defined as the spreading of something more widely and uniformly. Good example for that are perfume and air freshener. When you spray out one corner, you spread all around. In scientific terms, diffusion is defined as the net movement of something from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. To show you one more startling experiment of diffusion, that is Skittle's rainbow experiment. For this experiment, you will need white plate or a glass plate, Skittles and a glass of water. My mom has already arranged the Skittles in a rainbow pattern for me. You can arrange the skittles in any type of pattern you want. Now, let's pour in the warm water in the middle of the plate till it barely touches the skittles. center. Look how fabulous it is. It is so magical. This gives the perfect visual of stratification too. Look, the colors move to the center. This diffusion process is totally amazing. I'm going to give you a different challenge with the same Skittle experiment. What happens when you try it with different candy? What happens when you try it with different liquid? For example, cold water, hot water, and dish soap. You can also note down the timing of each liquid. This is all about the fusion. Hope you'll carry out this experiment with the different variations as I mentioned. Bye! Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.